Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the pointer pointer in a Python programming over here. In general, Python doesn't have a pointer where where we can store our, our values like in other programming language, but we generally use it as a dereferencing de operator over here. Yeah. At first, we are going to learn about the concept of the dereferencing operator. For this, we are just writing our code using using in stance in is in is i n s t t a n c e in stance using in stance function over all data types that data types in python yeah for this we are just creating our function this is yeah let us start at first we are assigning the integer value for this the value of a from value 1 was 1.1 come out 1.1 writings 1 just writing assign it 100 we are we need not to use comma at our last just our dictionary is closed we are printing our dictionary dictionary and then we are checking checking as operator or not for this we are just reducing print statement is instant or not and then our dictionary and is object whether it is object or not we are just running our code let us see yeah we got our desired result too that is that is upper class dictionary and then it is a true statement yeah this, that is upper class dictionary and is a true true statement here we assign let us take this value because we need to get a result we need a desired result over here dictionary dc yeah sorry we have we use dict but at first we have assigned dc so just making it to dc and just giving the result to D dc we will get our full result here let us run we must get these values as a result yeah here is our result ready this is what about the dereferencing operator that is that is similar to the uh, similar to the pointer and uh, in general we don't use pointer in python programming over here but uh, in some cases we used a pointer pointer inside the pointer we are going to discuss it uh, in our next mm. Next example, let us start with the immutable object. Let us start some add a string, add to a string, add, add as to a string to a string, a string with memory location. Yeah. The main function of the main function of pointer is to locate the mem locate mem is to is for memory location so uh, we are just using it let us create some uh, string over here string is uh, python programming python programming is our string yeah we are just printing this string we are just printing this string and printing this string id so id of string just printing the string id and then we are just incrementing we are just incrementing is equals to plus yeah we are just incrementing or something adding adding a lang language over here we are just adding language over here we are now uh, printing our printing our new string and finally we are printing our new 
id of a string yeah now we are just running our program which will give us result python programming by and plus language so python programming language let us run our program what happens yeah we got our result python programming language and our different memory locations at first this was our memory location when python programming was assigned and then after assigning the python programming language this new new number becomes a new new one yeah now we are just uh, going to discuss about the different types of arithmetics in Py python python arithmetic yeah python a r i t s m a t i c python arithmetic for this two we are just uh, using increment and decrement operator operator that is either plus plus that is increment and minus minus that is decrement operator yeah this increases the values by one if we assign our value one and write plus is equals to then our value will increase by plus is equals to one then increase by one and becomes two similarly it decreases let us write some sim simple program let us assign our value x is equals to 10 just print this value print this value x is equals to just assigning to x we are just printing the memory address of x mm, memory address a d r e s s address of x and before so we are just adding address for address we are just adding id of our object that is s yeah now we are just incrementing our value of x x plus is equals to one by one and then again we are printing our value of x and printing the memory location of x for that id of x printing the x is equals to excuse me x is equals to and then similarly new address new address yeah. inside this string new address is equals to the id of x just removing this this uh, id of x address is equals to comma id of our object that is s just closing it something generating comma is missing over here now we are running our program 10 plus 1 will give 11 as a result let us see yeah we can change this value to uh, 10 then it just increment our value by 10 10 plus 10 must gives us the result as 20 let us see yeah 20 is our result and different memory locations are shown this is what the pointer do in python programming and we are just assigning the value without using pointer as python programming doesn't support a strong concept of a pointer like in other programming languages mm, now we are just uh, changing our incrementation to decrementation by subtracting subtracting our value our main value is 15 let us show 10 10 minus 15 minus 10 this might give up 5 result yeah this is about the uh, decrement operator that is minus and we are we can also use different arithmetic signs over here like uh, let us assign the value of x is equals to previous value of x plus uh, previous value of x plus 10 yeah in this way we can use the different arithmetic operator and we can run it 10 plus 10 will 15 plus 10 25 as a result 25 as a result and then again we are just uh, subtracting it then uh, 
5 we get 5 as a result in this way we can use the arithmetic uh, pointer arithmetic arithmetic in pointer yeah this is the pointer arithmetic and now we are going through pointer to pointer to pointer yeah? pointer to pointer pointer to pointer yeah for this we are just defining our function at the beginning defining some function uh, which might hold value a b c d and so on yeah just defined our function now we are printing the value of each individual function a b c and d and then we are just assigning the value of x as a value 10 100 12 13 yeah, two values and we are just assigning our function to the variable x by using the pointer asterisk sign is used in order to detect a pointer yeah now we are running our program let us see what happened yeah python console is seen over here okay. just take it out We should get 100, 10, 12, and 13. 100, 10, 12, and 13 as our result. We must get 100, 10, 12, and 13 as our result. Let's see what happened in our program. Why it is not giving us the desired uh, result. We have just assigned a defined a function name by this and just called a function. We have just called a function some variable is stored and this is a functional type variable there yeah. functional uh, typed variable functional type variable as is the functional value over here this is now we are just detecting what is what happened in our code just uh, removing this space print function taking some spaces creates the uh, much more error over here we are just checking our function by assigning these values pointer to pointer assessing yeah pointer to pointer assessing we have used a asterisk sign that is used as a point as the pointer in python programming after after x we have assigned a variable we in python programming we just need uh, to add a space over here this might have created error for us let us run whether it gives us result or not just rerunning our sample code just Redoing our sample code. Formatty. Yeah. Same process. Now we are just running it. What happened? We must get our result 100, 100, 200. Yeah, we must. We get our result over here. Here we used a function that, that gives us a pointer value. Your function is assigned with the variable x by using pointer. You can see a pointer. If we just remove a pointer, then our function will not get any assist. Yeah, it generates an error. Just adding a pointer over here and running. Our, our function is assessed to pointer and we got a desired result. Let us assign another function that is um, that is just like saying y equals to yeah, y equals to and then we are assigning the value of a in y as a in y as i comma just using this sign i and then a b as love and then c as programming 
P R O C R A M M I N G programming. I love programming and just writing D as I I love programming. D as I love programming in Python. Yeah. In Python. Yeah. Then we are just. I love programming in Python. We are just uh, printing this. For this, we are assessing a function. We must use it is our second second variable over there. So we use a double string, double string and y. Let us check what happened. A B C D. Yeah. I love programming in Python. We got our desired result. Since the second second function, we used a double asterisk sign. Yeah, this is this is about the uh, pointer in Python programming, pointer to pointer in Python programming. Now we, in our next video, we are going to discuss about different types of illustrators in Python programming and their use. They are also they are they are one of the most important concept over the programming. Stay tuned with us. Thank you.